Hi, I'm Blaine Blaze with Chasing Bones Inspectors, and today we do a house blessing. Hi, I'm Sir from Chasing Bones Inspectors, and I'm going to be walking around the house smudging all the negative spirits with jasmine incense. Hi, I'm Bra, today with Chasing Bones Inspectors. Today I'm going to be doing a warning of a house and blessing it to get rid of the negative energy. Hi, I'm Danny from Chasing Bones Inspectors, and today I'm going to be getting rid of negative th entities and negative things in a house and blessing the good spirits and having a conversation with them. Oh, okay, so what we're going to be doing here at Bobby Jones is I have brought with me, when it's my turn to do my part, because each of us have a different job to do, uh, I wish to talk with the good spirits, so I gave them two options. I brought my rods to speak with them, plus an EVP. So I brought this as well. So that's for speaking communications. And when all the negative stuff's out, I brought an orange to give to the good spirits. I also brought crossroads dirt. And I brought holy soul. <clears throat> now, the reason I brought the crossroads dirt is for any bloodline attachments and stuff like that. This will soak that up, get rid of them once and for all. The holy soap <coughs> is going to be used to help seal the property and to get rid of um, any negative stuff. But it will not affect any of the good spirits whatsoever. It has no effect on the good spirits, and that's why I brought that. Thank you. Hi, I'm going to be going uh, floor, for, floor to floor, smudging negative spirits with jasmine. Negative spirits do not like jasmine, and it will not affect the good spirits because they love jasmine. I'm going to be warning the outside of the house with uh, a special barrier with uh, some crystals that I've prepared. I have a special little rock in my pocket to get rid of a certain creature upstairs that has been bugging the kids. So hopefully I will, or, well I actually know that we will get rid of that and that will make that place a lot safer for them. And I also have my uh, voice recorder to ask a couple of questions while we're here. Yep. Watch that. Make sure to get the one corner really good. That concludes the basement. Okay, let's go to the upstairs, or main floor. Yep.
the upstairs. I think there's access to it. Yes. Go into the room to your right. Okay. Just dress me in sense. Well, I'm going to be doing the uh, other part in here, too. Do you want me to move her then? Yeah, just so that she doesn't get on camera. We don't want to, uh... Sure. Yeah, it's just dress me in sense. It smells fantastic. Oh, it does. You just said you would uh, like to move her. Yeah, just for privacy's sake. Yeah, no problem at all. the activity is so some crawl space there too crap I want to scratch my nose and I lowered the camera oh alright all right, um, that pretty much concludes what you're doing alright so I'll stop this here and we'll move on to the next part alright so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting out a, setting up boards that will surround the perimeter of the house so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bearing some crystals that I've prepared and blessed. And as I put them in, I'm going to be asking for the spirits and the gods to help protect this, protect this home. And also with each one, I'm going to be putting in some uh, holy water that I got from a uh, granite-fed uh, natural spring. So it's pretty much as pure as I can get without going to a glacier. So. Now, crystals that I got are amethyst that I bound with cedar. And they, they've been blessed. Aid me in this family's protection. So why have you chosen amethyst? Amethyst is a strong old stone. It is a natural binding stone that is made from the elements of the heavens. It's made by meteoric water striking the earth and with the heat from the meteors infusing into what's called bugs inside the earth, these part these crystals. The more minerals left behind, the darker the crystal, the older the crystal. So these are an aspect of Mother Earth and of the heavens. And why cedar? Cedar, because it is a strong, everlasting wood, but yet is protective. It, uh, if you ever notice, cedars are never by themselves. They're always in a group, so it's, a cedar is a community tree, so it helps work together, which also helps with their protection. So, a stand of cedars is a lot like a uh, toadstool ring mm -hmm. because of the power that's inside of them. Okay. Like when I was walking through to pick the right tree, you know, you notice that there was a group of them. When you need to center there, you feel, you know, the trees there protecting you. 
So the cedars help you know, protecting this one. So the spirits and gods are calling the lend your strength, your power, or your aura. Protect this home. Hemi, Dotum, Presidio. Let's get that Hemat. Protecta esta casa. Aid me in this family's protection. All right, now, the words I'm saying is a simple prayer, but I've included Latin, Celtic, and, and Norwegian. You know, the cedar and the amethyst are strong in the, in the, in the, in the Norse uh, mythologies. Latin, has, of course, has always been one for religion, and Celtic because of my Scottish roots. There you go. So you're going to do the same thing with the other two corners now? Yeah, I'm going to do the, the last two corners. And I'll do, do that in the backyard. And then I'll come in and I will bless in, on the inside the windows and the doorways and all portals from the inside to help protect with the barrier. So no negative energies can once again enter this home. Awesome. Okay, so I'm inviting any spirits and other creatures in here to enter this rock and I will relocate you to your proper home. I know you're here and I know what you are. I plan to bring you out to the wilderness where there are trees, water, vegetation, and I will leave you with some jasmine. So into the stone and I will look at you. I prefer to do this a calm and friendly way versus the alternative. Okay, so got him. Something's in here. I can feel it. I'm hoping that's what we came here for. And we're gonna go. I plan to go downstairs, ask a couple of questions to the remaining nice spirits, and we're good to go. Okay, so I'm leaving three full incense, and the one we used, and white feather here with the client so that for the next week or so she can do this and hopefully that will keep things calm until the residual energy is gone so that's that's what my plan is from here So what we have here is called crossroads salt, all right? Uh, a lot of people know crossroads is the place of making deals and bringing things to it. Crossroads salt is, does the opposite. It draws anything negative into it and closes it so they can't get through. And then I can dispose of it at my leisure. So I'm going to go over here because you need a flat surface. crossword dust. In order for it to trap, drag, kick and scream, whatever needs to be done, to collect all negative energies, any negative spirits, you have no choice. You will be trapped 
locked into here, and I will remove you from this place once and for all. You are never to bother this family again. Also, <coughs> any entities, any spirits, any curses, anything that is bloodline related. So in other words, if you were following this family due to bloodline, that bloodline is now severed. You never again have any right to this family, to this bloodline. It ends here and now. Only the good may be here. This here is holy salt. Now holy salt is different than crossroad stuff because what it does, any residual thing that's negative will be absorbed by this. However, at the same time, it gives blessings to the good spirits. So for the good spirits, it's, it's kind of a good energy uh, for them to have. But for anything negative, well, it's not such a good deal. So now I'll head over there. Heavenly Father, we gave the elements, four directions, the animals, the good spirits. I offer you this holy soul. So that you may receive energy from it. And so that darkness may be swallowed within the light. And the darkness will no longer be able to affect anybody or anything in this area. I ask this by the name of the Redeemer and by the blood. The witch. Okay, so just letting these sit for a little bit to give off the energy and absorb the energy. This is the crossroads salt dust, either or, I guess. Um, it's taking up or absorbing all the negative that's in the house, and uh, it's forcefully going to get rid of it so we can dispose of it as we wish. Over here, we have holy salt, which powers the good spirits and will take off anything residual that the crossroad salt may have missed. So, we have both of these just sitting here doing their thing, and in a little bit we will pick them up and deal with them as needed. Wait, go. All right, I will now collect anything negative. You are banished, and the bloodline is broken. I Okay, now that we've, we've done the work here, we've cleaned it out, you can feel it's a lot lighter. I can feel it's lighter. Um, I'm going to take, after this, I'm going to take out anything that's negative. And then we'll be taking the stone. So, that little critter is, is now with Blaine. He's going to release it in a nice place away from here where it will be happy. Uh, I'll be taking out the crossroads dirt, salt. And the holy salt, I'll be taking that with me to dispose of it properly. So now that we know everything that's dark, residual or not residual, is been dealt with, I am now going to offer this orange to the good spirits. All right. Father in heaven, Jesus, the elementals, the four directions, the four animals. All good intention, I offer you to the good spirits this orange. May you have it to give you energy, to give you strength for any journey that you wish to take. I give you this out of respect and out of kindness so that you may feel better. And I would really appreciate it if you would talk with me for a moment, and that is yours. I'm not telling you to talk to me, I'm just wishing you will. I've got two ways to communicate with you. I have this recorder, so you may speak to me by, by coming up to this light. We won't hear you with our own ears, but you can talk to this light and we will be able to listen back to your voice, okay? So I'm going to turn that on. And if you wish to talk to us, you can. 
And I also have these rods, so you can use those rods as well. Okay, so here we go. Good spirits, please show me what you use for a yes. Crossing is yes? Okay, could you please show me a no? Thank you. Um, I noticed there was an old man and an old woman. Are you bound to the land or... or okay, let's add, do this one question at a time. Are you bound to the land? Yes. Okay, thank you. Do you like this family? Yes. Okay, thank you. Are you the couple that have been protecting the children and keeping the ugly things away? Yes. Well, the family thanks you for that, and I thank you for that. That is a wonderful thing that you're doing, and uh, we thank you kindly for that. Um, do you wish to stay here? Is that your wish? That's a big yes. Okay. Um, no one wants you to leave. You don't have to leave. I've talked to the lady here, and she said as long as you're good and you don't scare nobody, that you're welcome to stay. And uh, are you okay with that? Do you agree? That you're going to be helpful and never scare anybody, at least on purpose? Yes, you agree to those terms? Okay, then you are welcome to stay. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to ask you. Is there anything else that you want me to ask? No, you're good with that? Okay. Um, so anyway, we'd like to bless you. Uh, we give you this food. Um, thank you very much for taking care of this family. I'm quite certain this family is happy to have you here. And you never have to leave as long as you remember that this family is their house. Hang in there. If you don't like the changes, you will like them soon. Okay? It's her place now. But you're welcome to be here as long as you're happy. Understood? Understood. Okay, good. Thank you. <clears throat> hmm. So we got some really good uh, action there. Uh, now let's check and see if we have actually caught any voices on top of that. So I'm going to stop this right now. All right. I'm just going to hit play and we're going to listen and see if we caught anything. yeses on here uh, but I'm gonna double check it when I get home with the put on a computer so I can hear it better uh, there is one more question I wanted to ask and then we'll be done here okay uh, good 
Spirit, sorry to disturb you again. I, I do have one more question. All right, is that all right if I ask you one more? Thank you. Um, Bobby Joe and her friends saw someone in a mirror uh, at the house here on a reflection. Was that the missus or the mister? Was it one of you two that uh, they saw in the reflection? Okay, let me try that again. There was a mirror in the kitchen. They were looking in the mirror in the kitchen and they saw a reflection. Was that you? No? No. Okay. Uh, do you know whatever it was, is it now gone? It's now gone? Okay, good. Thank you. So it wasn't them uh, that you saw in the reflection, but whatever it was, is no longer here. Okay, thank you, and we'll see you later. Okay, so, get this little one back to play it off. As promised, I will release you here. The trees, there's water, vegetation, everything you'll need. I also gift you some jasmine. You're now free to live in this area, and you are not allowed back at that house. Come on.